Welcome, glad to have you back. Today we are going to have a look at Operator 8. What is Operator 8? Operator 8 is a first person action shooter um, with a lot of horror elements. We are essentially playing the one mercenary who has been called on a far distant moon station because, well, something broke out and we are apparently the only one to fix it. So, um, from having a look of this description and from the screenshots, I thought this idea, okay, maybe this is kind of trying to go for a more gloomy kind of doom playstyle. That's at least the expectation I'm going to go into this game right now, the demo that we're going to have a look at right now. Link is as always down the, in the description. But a few things before we actually start. So we're playing the demo. The game pretty much throws us in immediately. And we get this screen with a few button prompts and essentially telling us, okay, this is just the first hour of gameplay. There are no story elements. And that is also something I noticed uh, from the Steam page. Uh, first off, this game has been released in Early Access just a while ago. And it has literally just one review. Nothing else. And apparently the current early access um, includes the first two levels. I think the demo only has the first one. And also some story bits, intro scenes and so on, which we don't have here. So there's going to be a bit more fleshed out things in the early access. And the developer wants to improve with the uh, essentially it's chapter by chapter during the early access towards the full release. But yeah, we don't have any story bits right now, at least not too much. We have just the core gameplay to get the feel and aesthetic of the game, but does not represent the final quality. Fair. Also, we need to keep oxygen in mind. So yeah, let's get ready to have a look at the controls and then we're ready to stomp some, I think, Eldian zombies or something. So first off, E to, uh, to interact, Q to stomp on small enemies or crates. This is also going to take some oxygen. G to throw grenades, space to jump, I to open inventory, check key cards, left click is primary fire, right click is secondary fire, and L is for the FPS metrics. So there we go. Immediately into the game, we have a limited graphics options, low, medium, high, and some lightning effects on screen effects. Unfortunately, no slider to turn on or, well, uh, to tweak the volume. So I hope for you guys, ladies and gentlemen, the quality of the audio is fine. For me, it's okay, but sometimes I notice it differently than it how it actually is in the video. So I hope it's gonna work, but this is also kind of uh, heavily dependent on my experience, of course. So let's jump into the game. Here we are. Apparently, we are the Operator Eight. Landed on here, probably crashed, most likely crashed. Also, you can see some stylistic graphics, kind of, uh, yeah. Like, not that detailed, but, I mean, it's stylistic. I like it. Also, we have these things. I'm not supposed... I'm not sure if I shoot shoot these. Oh, that's our stomp. Can we stomp those things? Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, uh, to pick up pistol ammo. Nice. Okay. So, there's a reason to destroy barrels, apparently. Did I destroy those? I can't destroy those. Okay, where is enemies? There's this guy. Hey, sir. You don't look so fine. And, of course... Would be nice to maybe have some lightning going on to, well, just increase gamma or so. I hope it's not too dark for you guys on the video. And you can actually see something. Well, this happened. Can I crouch? I can't crouch. Fair. So, we have oxygen. That's kind of... Uh... Oh, there's even a tutorial. Nice! That's 50 credits. Okay. Oh, this is where we need to stomp. Oh, man, that's actually... These things are fast. Hallelujah. Did I take damage? It's actually... No, I did not. But yeah, oxygen is down to 68. That is... Ah! Uh, I knew it! And it still got me. Oh, there's another one. I see you. I'm gonna stomp you. Come on. There we go. Oh, that is gruesome. Also, this gives me credits. Interesting. 58 oxygen. That is literally the worst. Is this oxygen? No! Oh, great. That is an explosion. Nice. Oh man, I'm never a big fan of these arbitrary time limits, so to speak, because I'm very bad with dealing with that anxiousness. So let's read this. Story elements not available in the demo. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I'm already like halfway down in oxygen. Great. Oh fuck, did you just come out there? Okay, right click to continuously shoot. I don't need to reload apparently, which I'm fine with. Did it just come out of this? Or where did he come from? 
man. Okay. Oh, yes. Oxygen. Okay. Normal crates I can destroy. These things. Why? <laughs> that, was mis that was actually a misclick on my part. I wanted to say I maybe sh I should not shoot at these things. Well, there we go. What an amazing start. Hey, sir. What if I shoot? Oh, you are. Well, maybe it's better. I don't know. Okay. We have 60 pistol ammo. We have to be a little bit careful. What is this? Pistol ammo. Okay. We do gain some. We need oxygen, we need everything Shoot right now. The wooden crates to destroy them. They will sometimes drop usable pickups. I really like this, this I don't know, synthesizer or so, that effect they um, essentially laid over the voice acting there to make it a little bit more roboty. Um, that fits very well with the star. They do sometimes contain special items. You'll need a key card. A special? Most of them. Can I? I mean, this uh, has to explode, yeah. Some worms. But are they done? I think they're done. This is also... Oh, man. Should I shoot this or not? I'm not a... Oh, man. We have... I... Nah, that was too expected. What if I shoot this? Just... Oh, there we go. Oh, what, what, what did now explode? This thing? Oh, man. Pick up grenade launcher ammo. All right. I'm... Uh, well, uh, life is okay, I guess. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Machine gun. Do I have any ammo? 40. How do I switch weapons? By my numbered keys. One of the is the pistol. Let's still go with this. I why I can't oh no, I can't turn off the flashlight. Oh great. How do I charge up my flashlight? This is awful. Press E to open the door. What could possibly go wrong, right? Space to jump, hallway. Okay, I'm ready. Hello. That is fine. I have a pistol. Can it open the door? It cannot. I will stay here forever. Can I kick you through the door? Oh, I think I could. Seems like these small ones can get through the door as well, though. Are you a thing? Yeah, I noticed. Thank you for telling me. I need more oxygen. Oh, these things are disgusting. Well, are you gonna explode? No. All right. Purple, best color ever. Oh, great! Fucking doors! I will shoot all of you. I'm out of ammo. Great. This is awful. I used the alternative uh, fire mode. I have like no ammo left. How am I supposed to deal with this now? Oh, okay. Of course, of course. Um, oh, crates. No, not these. And a flashlight is out as well. Oh, this is just beautiful. Okay. You, please, thank you. I will take everything. Don't have any pistol ammo. Not this. Not this. This is glowing. Give me, give me battery pack, oxygen, ammo. Oh, thank you. We still have, like, barely nothing. So we need a blue key card for this um, inventory. Is I. I don't have a single key card. Good to know. Okay, I, if I press... Ah, it just disappears after a while. Good to know. There's this thing. This is gonna attack us or spawn things. So, I guess let's go to the prison, prison block B. No idea where this is going to lead us. Oh, man. I hope I didn't miss... 28 oxygen. Great. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Can I get up there? Maybe we're supposed to drop down. There's a story bit, but I probably can't read it. Interesting. I like uh, that kind of level design, like teasing things like this. I knew it! Every corpse just has to explode, doesn't it? Oh, oxygen is too great, because I'm kicking too often. Well, this might be our end now. Let's see how gruesome this is going to be. Also, I have four grenades. Maybe I should have used those. It seems like this last oxygen is a little bit nicer. Watch out for flesh entities and dead bodies. They might be infected. Ah, yeah, they usually are. Oh, I can open this door. Oh, oxygen! Ah, it's fine! Oxygen first! Oh no, it's not oxygen, it's blow blow. But this is oxygen. Um, I'm not sure. You know what? Just make this explode just in Yep, I knew it! Okay, so stomping really is taking a lot of oxygen, but I mean, we can't trust anything here, so we kind of have to use the stomp whenever possible, don't we? I don't know. Okay, I need items. I'm not... Oh god, I'm not good. Okay, keycard, nice. Can't read this. No story elements available. Are these crates? I sometimes don't know. Sometimes it's hard to tell. There's nothing else here? Oh, wait. There's this... Oh, I almost missed this door. 
Okay, anything else in this room? I don't think. Six oxygen. Because I'm probably stomping too often. That's fine. Oh, it's not fine! Great! Oh! Great! Oh, that totally worked somehow. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Oh, God! Are we done? I'm like almost out of ammo. Oxygen, that's nice. Oh, please. Ah, oh, this thing's. Oh, I knew it! Did I get all of them at least? I think I did. Oh, gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme give everything. Yes, thank you. Credits. I wonder what we're supposed to do with credits. Well, probably buy something, but of course the question is what exactly. Okay, any crates. I don't think these metal crates can be destroyed. Oh, freaking door. Why did it open? But this one can. Um, I could use spend ammo. It's so hard to tell if I should spend ammo or oh, some health at least. Or um, if I just shoot these crates. I still try. So far, it doesn't seem even if we are low oxygen, we still have a graceful per period, so to speak, it seems. Why? It exploded on the other side. Are you kidding me? That's not nice. Well, so far, at least the damage is okay that we receive. Should I explode this? Probably not. Anyone coming to get us? Give me, give me everything. Thank you. Crates. I like crates. I don't trust this corpse. This one in particular. Press E to open shop. Now we're talking. Give me this, though. Uh, it was takes three immediately, huh? Okay, there's that thing. Pe battery pack. Machine gun ammo. 16. Nice. Okay, let's see what the shop is about. Um, do we lose... No, we don't lose oxygen while in the shop. That's very nice. Buy health pack. Buy pistol ammunition pack. So we have 562. Oxygen. Grenade launcher. Sticky grenades. A shotgun. Hey. Flashlight. Armor. I have no idea what to buy. Health is fine. I guess let's go with machine gun. One more and one pistol. Let's just go all out ammo. Because if we don't have any ammo, we're pretty much screwed anyway. 48. Let's go with this for the time being. Let's kick them open. Give me more credits. 50. You know what? Sure. Let's make this explode. Do we have a map, by the way? I don't think so. I am a little bit lost already. Let's pro... To okay. Thanks for that detail. Have we been here? I don't trust anything. <laughs> I don't trust you! Okay. This alternative fire mode on the pistol is actually pretty cool. Okay, this is on the other side, and we never had the blue key card. That's why we... That's nice. Cool, cool. Crates. I'm gonna make this explode. There we go. What is this? Something, which I can't ride up, pick up. Oh, no! The damage barrel... Wait there. Wait, how do I pick it up? No, the debris in the way. I, I saw it for a second. Sticky grenades or something? I'm just gonna press E like a madman. There we go. Pr picked up something at least. There's another door. Oh, these things are so disgusting. Ah, what is this? Oh, well, that, can I now please pick it up? Somehow it's a little bit bugged here apparently. There we go. Flashlight. I'll take it. I like my flashlight. What is this? Pick up yellow key card. Cool. Okay, give me those things. Thank you very much. There's an arm. I would like to take the arm as well, but please the oxygen. Um, yes. Somehow in these corners, it's a little bit big. There we go. Now we can pick it up. Alright, do I miss anything else? Let's go through the door first. Hello? What could possibly go wrong in this corridor? Hello? Anyone here? Doesn't necessarily seem though. Who's gonna explode? Let's actually s check the corpses first. Yep. Yeah. Always corpse check first. Played enough horror games to know how this works. Give me... Hey, yep, yeah, there we go. Pistol ammo. Some, I did something to somehow screw with the pickup. It wasn't like this before. Can I please... I There we go. There. I really have to aim at it at a specific angle. That's a little bit annoying considering that we are essentially on a time limit through the oxygen. What? Oh, sorry. There we go. I can pick it up from above somehow, it seems. It's just a bit better at least. Okay, give me, give me this battery pack, pistol. There we go. 
Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so many pickups. Yes. Good thing we found this room. Health pickup. We are actually full on health. Hey, so that's a nice thing. Would be nice to just have, like, I don't know, some med kits that we could pick up and store if we need them. But sure, open the door. Oh, I used the key card. Well, whatever, I'll take it. Thank you. Oh, no, if the game gives us that much ammo, this is giving me a different kind of anxiety right now. Okay, we have a lot of ammo for that weapon. That's great. So anything else in this room? I guess all this blood transformation is, uh, transfusion is what changed all these people. I wonder if we can get through that crate. Oh, <laughs> why did I do this? Well, we can destroy it. Oh, yes, secrets! Oh, I, I'm stuck. No, 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 no. Don't tell me I'm stuck here. Um, please? No, I'm stuck. No! <laughs> I fell, I miscalculated my jump and fell behind this. No, we just found a secret. That's good level design. But this is not good level design when you can't get stuck that, like that. No. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So much for this very first chapter, I suppose, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's actually take this as a quick, uh, quick glance. I actually think we would just experience more, maybe one or two more enemies or a boss enemy. But frankly, I am... Well, besides these technicalities, which hopefully will be fixed in the early access or already are fixed in the early access, but the core gameplay, the shooting, the atmosphere, very well done. Maybe a few too many exploding corpses. Um, well, it's kind of hard to tell. They all all got me, but if you just give one of these scares too often, it gets dull and annoying at the time. Um, I might fear this might happen throughout the game. Frankly, even though it's like a more easy looking game so to speak with the lighting and with the stylistic choices that has a great atmosphere so i do enjoy that level design seems to be also interesting enough it's kind of not sure if it's on purpose to get lost that easily i would like to have a map or so because i already have no idea where i even am oh i hear oh we are actually because of a lack of oxygen well, let's see what happens there. But yeah, level design, cool. I do enjoy the background music. It's kind of the synth wave. <laughs> let's go haywire. It really feels like more of these older school shooters. You have health bars, you have ammo, you know, you have like even a flashlight bar, which, okay, that's a choice. We, oh, we have 19 grenades. When did, did I pick up that many? Can we throw? That works. Look, those grenades! He almost throws them like a bowling ball, like, she just have at it. <laughs> what if we do this? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, can we throw it towards that? There we go. <laughs> it actually doesn't deal that much damage, so... Even though it seems like we are uh, constantly taking damage, like 58, 20 and so... Yeah, I actually lose arm <laughs> more when we don't have oxygen, so that's a bit interesting. But yeah, we are surprisingly durable, so... Oh, is that another vent? I think I blew that open as well. So technically, it seems like this is also another entryway. And I almost missed these two, so... Also these doors. I mean, once you know they are these white things, you it's easy to notice them. The first time, I might have actually missed one or two, so... But this makes exploring this facility more interesting so far, I have to admit. So even though it, this was literally just a very quick glance um, of a technically a little bit rough demo but the core gameplay honestly seems engaging and fun um, we need a few more graphic tweetings i like to play these games with a little bit more brightness because otherwise i legitimately just have difficulties to tell what's going on of course in a way it's the intended purpose um, but usually i have a lot of games that have a lot of, a bit more of a darker environment i usually turn up the and crank up the brightness by quite a bit because otherwise it's just too dark too uncomfortable to actually like physically see what's going on on the screen then i'm not in the game and more like focusing on my um, window on my monitor and i'm like where's what's going on but that's just a personal me thing, of course. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Operator 8. Let's see what happens if I play... Okay, quit. Let me just quit us out of the game. Link, as always, is down in the description. This game legitimately just has one review right now.
And considering like this demo quality and considering that at least the first review and or probably the developer as well state that there's more story elements and bugs already have been fixed for the early access first two levels. We have literally just had a quick glance in the first level. I think one review is a little bit too little. Uh, if you ask me honestly, I think this game... Of course, I just played 15 minutes of it, but come on, just one review. We we need to have a little bit more. I think there is some potential here, and I would very much like to see this later on during the Alexis, I think. Again, this is this demo set out to give us just a feeling of the game, and I think it does manage that. But of course... Again, this is just my opinion. Um, I might have already talked more over the game that I actually showed you guys more gameplay. Please tell me what you think of this kind of presentation. <laughs> As always, I'm kind of experimenting a bit, going with the flow a bit. Tell me what you think of Operate 8. Let me know. Stay awesome. Consider sharing this video somewhere. And we're going to see each other right over there in the next video. I want to see... I with this guy, Gamka. No, he was literally just behind, so he didn't spawn from this pillar. How you doing, man? You're beautiful. Yeah, look at this. We're actually very healthy. Look at them jamming at us. But we can take it. And we can do this. Alright. See you guys at the next video. Bye-bye.